basically, it gives more color for the sauce. We love. So my family is uh, from Italy. Uh, my mom's side is very Italian. We have our own sauce recipes that has been passed down, and well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the impossible. I'm gonna attempt the unthinkable. If I fail this, I might be disowned. I'm gonna make my own sauce for some pappardelle bolognese and bring it to my family to not to contend against the family's recipe, but just as like a hey. Your boy's got it, you know what I'm saying? I got that Italian gene. I'm going to challenge the Italians. So I found a really good recipe from a really good YouTube channel from an old guy from uh, southern Italy, and I'm gonna try it out. So I'm doing that next week. Before I go up for GoFest, I'll be sure to record the process, because I can't wait, because I love pasta, bro. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Another day, another Tesla charge. Today we obviously have a brand new event, the summer themed event and the buddy Pokemon event happening, right? Buddy, buddy event, the friendship event. Sorry, the friendship event happening in Pokemon Go. We're gonna go out, we're gonna explore, we're gonna get new Pokemon, we're gonna see what it's all about today. Let me know in the comments, have you gotten any new cool Pokemon or the brand new shiny that comes out during today's event. Let's quickly recap over what's happening throughout this event, what we're gonna see, how long it's gonna last, and then let's hunt. So the friendship part of the challenge starts today, Friday, July 17th at 8 a.m., which is when I'm recording the video, uh, and it ends next week on Wednesday, July 22nd at 10 o'clock p.m. So obviously the friendship challenge is just a research challenge that you can use uh, or that you can do to complete to unlock spawns at Pokemon Go Fest. The one for this week for the friendship challenge, Team Instinct will unlock Togetic, uh, Team Mystic will unlock Dratini, and then Team Valor will unlock Litwick. Also, the challenges for last week were all unlocked. Everybody, we, we got it. Success. Keep the research going, everybody, because we're doing very good. So, that's what's going on. Also, remember that uh, Petal Petalil is coming out and is out today. A brand new Pokemon coming for the first time ever in Pokemon Go. Petalil is out, and by completing the GoFest Challenge Friendship, you can encounter Petalil. Let's quickly talk about the summer-themed event. Very excited for this. Some of the bigger takeaways is that summer-themed Pokemon will be spawning. Uh, also, you're going to have a uh, shiny Bellsprout. Shiny Bellsprout. Brand new shiny coming out today. Shiny Bells Bellsprout. Uh, Petalil as well coming out for the first time ever. And that's in 5 km eggs. And summer Pikachu hat Pikachu will be out too. Summer-themed Pokemon include the Pikachu with the hat, Oddish, which could be shiny, Bellsprout, which can now be shiny, Slowpoke, Shelder, and Krabby, which both could be shiny, Tangela, uh, Wingle, Slackoth, which could be shiny, Whalmer, which could be sh shiny, Castform, uh, and Hippopotus, also which could be shiny, and then Petalil. So that's what to that's what's to expect uh, in spawns and in eggs. Pichu with the hat, which could be shiny, Bellsprout, uh, Tentacool, and Petalil, all in five kilometer eggs. And in raid battles, we've got Alolan Raichu, Sand Slash, Alolan Executor, Tangela, Lapras, Snorlax, Jumpluff, and Petalil. So that's what's happening. I'm excited. Let's get out, hunt it, see what it's all about. Okay, so first encounters with spawns so far, looking like, yeah, Whalmer is definitely a thing. Uh, and I saw a Charmander, there's Shelder. Oh, and Oddish, there's an there's an Oddish inside of a Shelder. Oh, I need to click the Shelder. Okay, so Shelder, one of my favorite shinies. The, or here, check it. Like, this is like a top shiny Pokemon in the game. Just the orange with like that really dark purple. One of my favorites. So when this thing came out, I mean, this was like a very sought after hunt. So we can get more of that during this event, which is super exciting. Uh, and then Wilmer also very cool. I'm down with it. We have a lot, a couple Petalil on the nearby. I don't know whether, where's the nearest one? That's far, so we'll find one today, but it might take us a second. Uh, and then raid-wise, actually the raids look awesome. Uh, raid-wise, we've got uh, Wingle, we've got Alolan Marowak, Raichu, all can be shiny, so that's super great. So first impression so far, it looks awesome. And we got a team leader battle, which is gonna be Cliff. So let's destroy Cliff and then keep going with our adventure today. I actually forgot what Cliff has. He, he starts with Grimer, right? Grimer's the, I went Togekiss. Was it the wrong? We'll see. All right, Cliff. Uh, oh yeah, that was definitely the wrong. Okay, all right, good to know, good to know. Poison type, poison type. Apparently this was the last squad we went with them, so Mewtwo it is. Still no shadow shiny Pokemon for me from all of these events and all of these team leaders. I've never done more team leader battles at once than like recently, like we've been grinding. But for whatever reason, I don't know. I mean, 
the luck is not on my side. Definitely let me know in the comments if you got yourself or were lucky to get yourself uh, a shadow shiny Pokemon during any, I mean, any of these events because your boy has not been. All right, all right. Toss a little side strike in there. Yeah, yeah. Burn the shields. Yeah, yeah. Okay, two shields down. Uh, now there's an Amistar and I don't have much against it. So we're gonna have to see how this goes. Wow. Okay, side strike did the job. Nice, nice. One HP and a dream, you two versus, oh, it's Swampert, okay, cool. We should be good. Bringing out the Frenzy Plant, we're gonna be all right. Nice, yeah, that was just literally one and done with the Frenzy Plant, okay, cool. Cliff down. All right, then the Shadow Shawnee Grimer attempt. Ugh, still nothing, I don't have the luck. All right, let me catch this, let's see if we can find a Petalil. Actually, right here, this is our first ever Bellsprout check of the event. I never get the Shiny on the first check. Let's see if you get, oh, that is not Shiny Bellsprout. Okay, so again, Shiny Bellsprout for the first time ever. Finally, this Pokemon's been here for, I mean, literally forever. Never had a Shiny, so we got that. Well, we don't have that, but the community does. Hopefully some of you got it. Let me know in the comments. That'd be freaking ballistic. Day one Shiny. I need that luck. So here's a pretty good representation of the spawns uh, so far for this event. We've got two Shelter. There's a, uh, whatchamacallit. So there's some Oddish Krabby, a lot of Krabby. I don't know if that's event specific, but it's like everywhere around here. So uh, we have quite a bit of Krabby. And still no Petalil. So Petalil isn't as common as the last new Pokemon release. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit harder to find in the wild, which I'm down for, it makes it more fun. And I think the nearest one is like, holy, okay, that is the nearest one. So we're gonna try to track this down. That's two blocks away, I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, quest for the next new Pokemon, Petalil, Petalil. I guess officially begins. I was just hoping that it would spawn randomly around us, but that's not happening, so whatever, I'm down for challenge. So y'all remember when, okay, for one, it's just a crabby frenzy here. I don't know if this is just like a Santa Monica thing specifically, or if this is like the entire event, but I've seen nothing but crabby spots. Y'all know that when Ducklet came out, it was everywhere. How much Ducklet candy do I have? I don't want to miss this spawn, but I got the check. I have a 205 Ducklet candy, and it came out like two weeks ago, right? So like, this thing was everywhere. Petalil, on the other hand, not everywhere. So this is the first Petalil I've seen this event. Um, like, well, assuming that we get there and it's, it's here. So we kind of got to rush this, you know, no messing around. We need Petalil ASAP. Cause I don't know. I mean, they just don't spawn frequently. This thing is just not, it's just not around. Okay, incense, no. Where is it? Where is it? I can't lose this. Oh, there it is. Yes, here we go. Petalil in Pokemon, ah, oh, nice. First ever Petalil at 254 CP. Do we Savage Season the Pokedex? Do we Pineapple Berry for the Pokedex? Pineapple Berry would make a lot of sense just because, I mean, they don't spawn at all. So if we want any chance of evolving this without using rare candies, Pineapple Berry, we're gonna Savage Season it. This is the Mystic Seven channel. You know what kind of question is that? All right, yes, 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 yes. Easy to hit. Nice little great throw right there. Can we, actually this is all, it's also 11, 11 a.m. So this is kind of just perfect, isn't it? And bam. Let's get it. Okay, so seventh season on our first ever Petalil, and wait for it, wait for it, in the deck. So let's go. Brand new Pokemon in Pokemon Go, Petalil. Finally, finally in the decks. Day one as well. So it does take a Sunstone to evolve and 50 candies. Well, luckily for me and probably everyone else who has been playing nonstop for a long time, check this. I, uh, I have an evolution item problem. How many, okay, I've got 28 Sunstone, 39 King's Rock, 35 Metal Coat, 14 Dragon Scale, 20 Upgrade, 33 Sinnoh Stones, and nine Unova Zones. I gotta get rid of some of that, bro. So essentially, I'm gonna evolve to as many Petalil evolutions as possible because I need to burn those Sunstones. All right, so Petalil number one in the decks, and as you can see on the nearby, there's absolutely none. So remember, Ducklet was very easy to find. Petalil is a little bit harder. So if you see one on the nearby, it might be worth a, uh, a brisk jog, but dope. We got it, pedal a little down. Now we just gotta get enough candies to evolve it. Now I've always said that wherever I end up living ultimately has to be by the ocean or by the water. I love it so much. It's just like nice and fresh. I also like the breathe and the fact that it's never more than five degrees above or below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, very nice. Also, it's always weird looking at the pier because it's just like, I, I, haven't, I haven't walked on the pier in actual months. It's just weird looking at it. No, I, bro, I was there every day. So whenever that reopens, we're on it, but damn, it's kind of wild. Here we have, I think this is the last batch of five kilometer eggs from the last event. So I actually don't know what's in here, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out real quick. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that was garbage. While we're here, uh, I completed some research tasks I want to collect. I think this is send three gifts to friends. It's dun da da da. Dwebble, not bad. And then next is, uh, I think it's to catch five grass types or three. Oh, Petalil, nice. Okay, so this one will we'll pine that berry. Cool, okay, so if you can't find Petalil out in the wild, which is hard to do, you can get it in research, and I think it's catch three grass types or catch five grass types. It's one of them. Actually, we're gonna find out soon here uh, because I'm working on a catch three grass type Pokemon quest, and if that gives us Petalil, then that gives us the answer. Okay, so let's go do this, uh, let's go do a little raid. All right, here we are at the raid. Uh, I've got Kyogre out with me because yeah, why not? And Kurum, we're gonna battle this with our free raid pass. Let's get it. Okay, so 30, yeah, 30 seconds left. I'm gonna just invite, oh geez. You're all getting invites. We're just gonna invite people. Okay, oh, in, invites can't be sent, question mark. Well, we've got four. Yikes, are we gonna be able to take this out? We'll have to see. Safe to take off the mask. Nobody within like 50 feet of me. What I will say is that the new invite friends to raids feature is Stunning. I mean, absolutely incredible. Might be my favorite feature added to the game, like, almost ever. Like, it's up there. Uh, it's been really, really fun on live streams on Twitch because now I can do, previously, uh, I would always get questions on Wednesdays during my live streams, like, hey, are you doing raid hour tonight? And it's like, no, I've got no one to raid with and I'm sitting at my house. I can't do raid hour tonight. Because um, I, I, I live stream during the hours of raid hour. So typically I wouldn't be able to do raid hour, but now, uh, cause JT Gilly as well also streams around the time of raid hour so sometimes he streams during it, sometimes he doesn't but he wouldn't be able to do raid hour because he'd be streaming so now we can, I can, I can just remote raid invite my friends during raid hour while I'm at home live streaming which is so great and when new legendaries come out like Qrim or you know whenever Qrim white and Qrim black come out whenever those two are out like I don't have to worry about not being able to raid enough to get them cause I can do it all from home it's so convenient. Also, I'm, I'm lucky enough to live in a place where there's a lot of gyms around me. Uh, so I, I have legendary raids all the time that I can invite my friends to. Um, but even so, like, like here's a strategy, right? One of our friends, Connor, will go and drive around from q -room raid to q -room raid and then just invite the boys to the q -room raid, which is like, you know, you have one person out there actually doing the, uh, the driving you know, or the or the, the one person actually doing the gym finding and the rain finding, and then everyone else just sits at home and just helps from a distance. Also, it's very cool because uh, when you do a raid, a remote raid with someone, or a invite raid with someone, the geotag on that Pokemon will be the country that it that the raid was in. So I did a raid with with uh, Disney game with Reese yesterday. Uh, and it was a gym in China and that's very cool because in China in certain places you can play Pokemon Go But in a lot of places you can't right so it's like one of those like Pokemon Go is like low-key blacklisted countries So if you have a basically if you have a Chinese Pokemon, it's it's pretty dope um, So yeah, I've got like I have a Chinese Qrim, which is super cool. So I love that I mean this feature has just been it's been so great so uh, and it also helps with the rural issue the rural problem in Pokemon Go of people that just don't really live around a lot of uh, or, or like a well-populated area with when it comes to Pokestops or gyms, just people who don't live around, you know, Santa Monica, I guess you could say. Um, this helps a ton because if you make friends, and on my Discord server, by the way, uh, the link for that's in the description, uh, there's there's chats that you can go into to make friends for gifts. If you want to get extra gifts or give people gifts, please send gifts. Uh, and there's also a chat too if you want to uh, make friends with people that you can invite to remote raids, which I think is super cool too. So yeah, it makes being a role player a lot easier or a lot better rather because the problem previously with rural players is that they weren't able to get new raid bosses or legendary raids because there was nobody in their area that they that they could raid with or no raids in their area. So now, if you're a rural player and you can make a friend with someone who's not a rural player, uh, you can build a squad of people to be able to remote raid with. And there's a lot of people who play in big cities or areas where there's gyms all around them that don't have friends to raid with. So if, again, if you are a rural player, I'd recommend either using the comment section or using the Discord server or whatever. Uh, to find people in populated areas that do need people to raid with because they exist. So I think, uh, man, I think remote raiding was, it was so much better than I thought it would be. And I'm very happy about that. So obviously we're not remote raiding with anyone now just because the raid started like in 30 seconds when I joined the gym. But I mean, the feature's fantastic. What I will say is that I got roasted by my Twitch stream chat, Trainer Tips, GT Gilly, Connor, Jake, and Gavin 
about my inability to catch or hit Purim accurately. Bro, okay, listen, let me know in the comments. Do you struggle with accurately hitting excellence on Qrim? Or is it just me? Do I suck? I'm confused, because I, I, lit I literally can't do it. Watch, Ugh. Okay, that was an excellent. I'm like kind of getting better. Hey, all I'm saying, this thing's hard to hit. And that's a fact. Yep. Okay, I'm getting back, so I'm getting excellent. I'm getting better at excellence. We're just making up words here. Nice, all right. Qrim down right there on the pineapple, or the silver pineapple berry. So we got the extra candies. We're actually flying in candy. Oh, that, and that was a really good Qrim, eh? But it doesn't really matter because we got the Hondo, you know what I'm saying? We don't really need this one. 63 candies, we're working our way up there. Okay, cool, so there's that. I'm gonna start the walk back to the car. It's kind of far away. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get some uh, some spark. Actually, wait, hold on, let's just do this. Let me catch this Oddish because then we can check the uh, the research quest that is catch three grass type. All right, catch three grass types and check. Does this give us Petalil? He... No, it's Bellsprout. Okay, so I think catch five. I think catch five grass types is for Petalil. Catch three is for Bellsprout. Good to know though, because Bellsprout's shiny. All right, dope, let's walk it back. Okay, unfortunately nothing spicy on the walk back to the car, but the one spicy thing is that the Tesla chargers are working at full power again, which means I got a full battery finally, and I don't have to come back here tomorrow. So that's what's going on with the brand new Pokemon Go update. If you're excited about it, let me know in the comments. If you get anything fun, let me know in the comments, and good luck inviting your friends to Legendary Raids, hunting the brand new shiny uh, Bellsprout, getting Petalil in your Pokedex along with its evolution. Again, you do need a Sunstone for that. And uh, good luck, have fun the rest of the event. Very excited for it. Well, that's gonna wrap it. I'm sweating, it's noon, I have to get home and I have to stream. I'll see you in either the live streams or the next YouTube video. Hope you have a great day. Peace out. <laughs>